Hello everyone! Do you want to learn how to build affordable and interesting robotic and mechatronic systems and devices? Do you want to learn how to add intelligence to these devices by using machine learning, computer vision and advanced model-based control algorithms? Do you want to learn how to use SLAM and perception algorithms for obstacle avoidance? Then, do you want to learn how to practically use Robot Operating System or ROS? If yes, you're at the right spot and you're watching the correct video. In this video tutorial, I will number one, demonstrate amazing capabilities of an affordable lighter that you can see over here. This lighter can be integrated with Robot Operating System or ROS to create intelligent mobile robots capable of obstacle avoidance, perception and mapping. Number two, explain from scratch how to install and set up this lighter in ROS. Here is a computer running a ROS node and here is a visualization in Arvis of the lighter mapping. Then, number three, provide you more experimental insights into the lighter behavior and its capabilities. Before I start with explanations, I would like to mention the following. It took me a significant amount of time, energy and planning to create this completely free video tutorial as well as more than 300 video tutorials that you can find on my YouTube channel. And consequently, I kindly ask you to press the like and subscribe buttons. Thanks a lot. Before I start, I would like to mention the following. I'm not promoting this product, that is, this is not a sponsored content. The company who produced this lighter did not pay me to make this video. I'm creating this video because I'm interested in this amazing technology. Okay, let's start with explanations. Let's start with the lighter shown over here. It's a SlamTech RP lighter A1M8 it's a 2D lighter and it has a field of view of 360 degrees. It has an amazing scanning radius of 12 meters. So you can detect objects that are 12 meters from this point over here. So why I chose this particular lighter? Well, the first reason is that this lighter is relatively low cost. The second reason is that I can easily integrate this lighter with ROS, that is, I can build amazing mobile robots capable of slam and obstacle avoidance. Here is a closer view of our lighter. You can see the spinning disc over here. Then let's see what's happening behind. Over here you can see the motor on the left side and here is the chip. You're interfacing this lighter to our computer by using this adapter and the lighter is attached to the USB port. I believe that a large number of viewers of this channel and of this particular video don't know how lighters work and they are actually not sure what's happening on this screen. So let's provide a brief explanation. Let us explain what's actually happening over here. First thing that you can observe is that you have a cylinder that continuously spins. In fact, this cylinder spins with a frequency of 10 Hz. Imagine that, 10 revolutions per second. Then, as it rotates, this cylinder continuously emits a laser beam that scans the environment. And what you can see on this screen is a 2D scan of my room. Do you see this yellow ring on the screen? Well, that's me behind the camera. I'm standing approximately one meter and a half from my lighter. Now, I will step away from the camera. You see what happened, right? I moved and the lighter was able to detect that. Now I will approach the camera. Wow, you can see these dots. They're approaching our lighter. 
So the LiDAR was able to detect me and moreover it can track my motion. You see what's happening right now? I'm quickly moving away and to my camera and the LiDAR can track me. Perfect. However, how about these other lines? What are these lines over here, here, here and here? Well, they're the obstacles or walls in my room. To better understand this two-dimensional map, I will show you my room. Here's an opposite corner from the corner where my screen is. You can see a corner with books. And later on, I will explain you that LiDAR is able to actually detect this corner. And here's my computer. Next, let us try to interpret this map that our LiDAR produced. First of all, we might ask ourselves, what is this line over here? Well, this line corresponds to this side of the wall. How do I know that? Well, you can simply put an obstacle over here. And where is this obstacle? Now, watch the part of the map shown over here. The obstacle will be shown over there. So let's do that. Here is the obstacle. As I move the obstacle further away from my lighter, the obstacle on the map will move further away until I reach the wall. Now, how about this corner over here? Well, this corner actually corresponds to this book corner that you can see over here. That's really amazing. The LiDAR can actually detect the objects that are up to 12 meters from its center over here. And all these points and all these lines and set of points correspond to different objects or obstacles in my room. Although this is a very useful lighter, it still has a few limitations that you should be aware of. The first limitation is that it cannot detect the objects that are very close to our lighter. You can see that it's blind. It cannot detect an obstacle. It can start to detect the obstacle maybe 0.15 meters away from its center. And the obstacle will appear over here. So let's do that again. If I place my obstacle very close to the lighter, I cannot see it. However, if I move it away a little bit, I can start to see it. Another limitation is that this lighter is a two-dimensional scanning device. That is, it can only detect objects in a plane. So let's illustrate that. Look what happens over here. I'm placing an obstacle above the line of sight of the lighter, and you cannot see that obstacle, right? This is because I'm not crossing the laser beam. The laser beam is in this plane over here. So let's illustrate that. Here's my obstacle on top of the lighter, on top of the lighter, and over here, suddenly, you will see it. This is because my obstacle intersects with the plane of my laser. Of course, there are 3D lighters. However, these lighters are more expensive. To remind you, this device costs only $100. Okay, next, let's learn how to set up and install our lighter in ROS. The first step is to open a terminal window. Here it is. Let's change the size of our terminal since I don't like the terminal that covers the complete screen. Okay, the first step is to create a folder, clone the repository and build the node. Consequently, we need to execute the set of commands given over here. So let's go step by step and I will explain every step in detail. The first step is to create several folders. Over here, we create our workspace folder 
and we create our source folder inside of it. The next step is to go to our source folder. Okay. Next, we need to clone this repository to our source folder. To do that, we simply copy and paste this link. We go back to our terminal and we have to make sure that we are in the source folder. Then, we need to type git clone and we simply paste the link. Here is the link and here is the link again so you can type it if you don't want to visit the website. Okay, so go over here and press enter. And now the remote repository is being copied to our local source folder. Next, let's go to our original folder for our workspace and we need to now build the workspace. To build the workspace we use catkin make. Here it is. Now our workspace is being built. There are a few warnings over here but for the time being just ignore these warnings. Okay, the next step is to source this file inside the development environment or actually inside of the development folder and finally we need to build our LIDAR node. To do that we'll type catkin make and over here we specify the name of the node. Okay, next connect your LIDAR to the USB port. Once you do that, we need to verify a few things. We need to check the following. By typing this command, we will see that this device over here corresponds to our lighter, and over here we see some permissions. We need to adjust these permissions. Consequently, you need to type this command. This command will set up the appropriate permissions for our USB port so, such that we can read and write. You need to specify, specify your password and let's verify now the permission should be okay. Okay, the next step is to open a new terminal. For example, I will click over here and let's run our raw score. Every time you run a ROS node or any application or package or node in ROS, you need to start ROS Core. ROS Core is the back end of the ROS environment. Okay, next, let's go back to our original terminal and let's run our node. So go back here and simply paste this command. Here it's given. You can also see it over here to launch our node and voila magic happens what happened over here our viz started our viz is a very powerful visualization tool inside of the ROS environment you can visualize robotic models you can for example also visualize movements of robots and as you can see over here you can also visualize ROS points and actually lighter points and as you can see over here I'm moving my hand and this set of points corresponds to my hand. Okay that would be all for today I hope that you like this video if you like the videos I create please press the like and subscribe buttons. Thanks a lot and have a nice day.